as per the comment of some of you i am making a video today on directional derivative when a point or an equation or both of them are given to you so in this case if you see here one function is given to you an equation which is in terms of two variables x and y the equation is x square y and you need to find out two things firstly the gradient of that function at point 3 comma 2 and you need to find out the directional derivative derivative of that function in the direction of this point at this point so firstly i have already made a video on gradient you can go and check out uh, but still i am repeating it once again that you know gradient what is it so gradient is basically vector of partial derivatives right so for this, this function, find out the partial differentiation with respect to x and with respect to y. So, when you do partial differentiation, what's, what's it? You need to just take this as reference, the denominator. So, your function is x square y. So, when you will do differentiation with respect to x only, the partial differentiation, so you will consider x square. So, what usually happens in derivation? you take this power as coefficient and you deduct 1 from that power so 2x and because it is partial differentiation so another variable will remain constant similarly for partial differentiation of f with respect to y would be you will keep x square as constant and for y again you have you will take power as your coefficient and you will deduct 1 so y raised to power 0 is anyone having power as 0 is 1 so this is 1 so that means x square only now what's the point it is stating that you need to find out the derivative uh, the gradient of function at point 3 comma 2 so just substitute if you find out at 3 comma 2 so your x is in this case 3 and y will, will be 2 so that means 2 into 3 into 2 that means 3 times 2 into 2 12 and here you have x squared that means 3 squared that means 9 right so because it is with respect to x and this is with respect to y so this gradient of sorry this gradient of f at 3 comma 2 as I told you you have to represent the partial derivative in the form of vectors so you have i j and k unit vectors in x direction it's i y direction j and in z direction is k so it would be 12 i at 9 j exactly so or you can represent it like 12 comma 9 all right so your first part is over now you need to find out the directional derivative of this point at the point 3 comma 2 direction uh, the direction is in 1 comma 2 but the point is 3 comma 2 so in that case what you need to do because it is directional derivative so you know when you have position vectors for x axis you have i for y axis you have j and for x uh, for z axis you have k so these are three vectors so you need to uh, because this function is in two variables so you need to take one variable so, uh, and uh, any vector let's say a let us suppose a is a vector a directional derivative vector and this vector is having a1i in x direction and a2j in y direction okay now this is a unit vector for example unit vector means whose vec whose magnitude is one you know how to find out magnitude i'll tell you so this is how whenever you have to find out um, the directional derivative you always need to substitute or consider this as a vector so now if you see you have okay you have this vector a now 
consider this you need to find out the directional derivative of this a at point the point is at the point 3 comma 2 so this would be remember directional derivative is the dot product of gradient and that vector you know dot product when you open it so if you are having dot product of same unit vectors then it will be one how because you have two vectors dot product will be represented as the magnitude of first one multiply by magnitude of second one into cos theta now if these two are same vectors that means x direction i cap again x direction that means these are overlapping so which angle they are making zero degree so because it is unit vector so i magnitude is one this is one and cos zero is also one so hence the dot product of same vectors a dot a same unit vectors is one now you have three comma two point you have your function here gradient you have already found out which is 12 i cap 9 j cap right here now so your a vector is here a1 i plus a2 j so as i told you that same 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 dot is one so 12 i cap into a1 i i dot i is one so it is 12 a1 plus 9 a2 now you can ask me that when we will take because it is you know you, we will expand it so 12 i will be multiplied with this one and this will be this one with this one why we are not taking it because if you see i and j are mutually perpendicular similarly all of these three are mutually perpendicular so if you will have i dot j then you will have 90 degree theta and cos 90 is 0 which will make it 0 right so we are we are not taking or considering any other factor only i dot i j dot j so this is your derivative now you need to find out the values of a1 and a2 right now whenever you have to find you have made this equation you need to check out which is the direction here the direction in the form of 1 comma 2 now you need to find out the magnitude of that unit vector you know how we find out any unit any unit vector can be represented as if you want for, uh, that vector and its magnitude if you divide vector with the magnitude you will get the unit vector uh, so this vector is what the direction direction is 1 comma 2 right and if you find out from this point from this direction the magnitude so square of x axis square of y axis so it would be 1 comma 2 by root 1 plus 4 5 so this means this unit vector can be represented as 1 by root 5 and 2 by root 5 so this is your a1 this is your a2 now substitute this in equation 1 that means it would become 12 a1 plus 9 a2 so 12 a1 plus 9 a2 that means 12 times 1 12 9 times 2 18 12 plus 18 and root 5 is same denominator 30 root 5 30 by root 5 and you can rationalize it by multiplying with root 5 and multiply and divide by root 5 so 30 root 5 by you know multiply this 5 5 6 to 30 you have get you have got this so this is how you can find out the gradient and if you are given with an equation and point and direction so directional derivative can be found out like this hope you have understood this and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel i have posted two of the things um, uh, in community tab if you go and check out and comment over it then that would be nice
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम हैव अ यू नो चिल माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ बाय बाय हैव अ गुड टाइम